All right, what's going on guys? Percy TCG here. I have a quick announcement I want to make. We're creeping up on 500 subscribers. As of recording this, we're at 261. So with that being said, I want to give back to the community. I want to hand out a blue starter deck. I believe by that time, we should be able to hit 500 subscribers. Um, to enter, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and Make sure you leave a comment down on this video. You have to comment on the video. If you do not comment on the video, it will not enter you into the giveaway. All right, what's going on guys? Percy TCG here. And today we're going to be going over a deck profile. I've done a green deck profile on the Carapite slash Insectoid deck, but I have not done one for Swift. So we're going to go ahead and get right into that. Um, so obviously you're going to want to run your Tokiwa. Tokiwa at level 3 starts to uh, fuel your swift after it attacks. Um, also, when he attacks, he, uh, you exhaust one of your opponent's spirits. And then uh, if they have a Void Lord, plus 10k BP. Which, level 1, this is not important right now. It's a bit irrelevant. Because from what I've seen and what I've playtested, Void Lord is very hard to stick into the deck. Because it's such a high cost. You're maybe running one, two at most, and even running two makes makes it feel kind of, eh, you know. So uh, we're probably gonna do three of the Tokiwa. Um, Yada Gloss is pretty dang good. Just sucks that it's Carapite or Insectoid, and you have to destroy it. So uh, we have Shrike with Swift. When summons like when your exhausted spirits reduce to BP by 2000, which is eh, whatever. I mean, it's cool with Swift, right? Because you get the uh, Swift summon something, and then you attack and swing in, and makes it to where they lose something potentially. Um, maybe three potentially. We also have this guy that has Swift as well. So we'll probably do four of him. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Mushrantula. I feel like any green deck with a Mushrantula is four of because it's just too good. Opponent Spirit's exhausted. That's not important to us. This is important to us. Ramping cores. So probably four of that. At least three map Butterfly. See, Daimyo Mama is, uh, I mean, I've thought about it. It's like when your spirit's higher BP than your opponent's has BP, plays a core for the void. So it's, it helps with the ramp. So this could be a good secondary option. Not this so much. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll come back to that. Another Blade B spirit. Uh, more, more swift. I think Leaf Wolf is a good four of. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, just poke, you know. When someone's like, when your opponent's spirit success, place a okay, whatever. When destroyed by opponent, place two cores from void into your reserve. When the battle ends, you may place two cores from the spirit into your reserve. Like when your spirit, blah blah blah. Hmm, I like Capperhorn. Four Capperhorn, maybe? We'll see. Your opponent selects one of their refreshed spirits and exhausts it. Swift. Uh, how are we looking? 29 spirits, eh? Uh, Strike is cool. Mushrantula is cool. Heaven's Cloak Butterfly I like. Uh, when the spirit or one of your spirits with Swift destroys one of your opponent's spirits, you can maybe select one of your opponent's spirits and exhaust it. Select one of your opponent's spirits and exhaust it. Okay. So yeah, probably two, maybe three. We'll run three, three of the uh, Tokiwa slash... Phoenix. 
I do think this is going to be more of a... Um, spirit heavy deck in my opinion simply because it's swift okay uh, one place like when everyone's spirits exhaust and when spirits no effects let's destroy it and blah no we don't care mm. I think gate I like gate tree Maybe as a two of, maybe? No, we don't care about that. So basically what we're going for here is like multi, multi attack almost. Run your spirits with a soul core on destroys one of your opponent's spirit, spirit. See, that's so easy to play around. Like just don't, don't block the one that has a soul core uh, unless you give it confront which is interesting I like this one I like this one as well maybe three of that but what else sacred tree stump the first spirit you control that attacks each turn gets plus 1k BP for each spirit green spirit you control draw a card when your opponents reduces your life um see sacred tree stump city i wish the level two was the level one because you want to take damage like early just so you get the ramp going place one core from the void on each spirits but no it's like the spirit during this turn 1k uh high rolly See, I like multiple cores. I like that card. Thorn Prison. I think if we're running four Thorn Prison, we don't got to worry about any needle shots. I mean, yeah, it becomes a one cost to exhaust one thing, but I don't think you're going to mind paying more cores, honestly. You know what Nexus I actually want to run instead of? Uh, probably instead of this one, yeah. Instead of this one, I want to run... This guy right here. Come up to three netherworld depths. And then instead of this guy, I want to play. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Because I can't type. Jesus. And we'll do four Beldegore. So for the zero cost, should we do purple also? Because when destroyed, draw a card. We'll do that, actually. Play three of the purple. Zero cost. Capperhorn. Score from your trash into your reserve. Which is meh. Goes from trash to reserve. It's a good turn one thing, I guess. Or... You know, if you're like one core short on stuff. Hmm. Well, we need ice shield, so. Just because we're so aggro, ice shields is kind of a, a must. Uh... What else could complement this deck very nicely? Maybe the worker Ant-Man just to help with the ramping. As much as I don't want to put an insectoid in here, I mean we already did with Mushrantula, but Mushrantula is just too, too good. 
Um... Like, the all deeds not bad. I'll be real, this, this card's not bad. I'm actually thinking it might be the way. Like, two of them. Because we don't care about this one, because it's Exhaust the Spirit, place a core from the Void onto it. I mean, it's during main phase, so you can take the core back off and put it in reserve, but it only happens during the one turn it happens. Compared to this, he's a 4k at level 1, right? So he's out of Burning Force range. And then only 3 cores to get to uh, level 2, that's easy for green. 6k body, so you have to um, double Angelic Pressure or Volcanic Break him, or Dream Bomb. And then you consistently, every turn, when he attacks, you get a core to the void. So, I think that's the better option. Um, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine targets for uh, Beldegor, which is fine. I like that. Could it be more? Possibly. Could be more. But... Like Leaf Wolf, I feel like you're going to be summoning him a lot of the times for the Swift. Blade Beast would also be a pretty cool deck to build. Um, yeah, I think that's... that's. This is definitely something you'll have to test out and make adjustments as you go. But I think this right here with the Beldegore, because right, you, you... Say you swing, right? They block, you get a draw off the Netherworld Depths. You hit a Swift unit. That's a 4 cost. And you have like 3 Beldegore in Trash already. You Swift, go into the 4 cost, swing it, and if it dies... Man, that's almost half tempting to run Deadly Balance just for the combo. Like, to guarantee it, you know what I mean? But the problem is the room... The room. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Turn 1 targets. That's too many. That's too many. I think. I don't want to come off the purple unit, but I feel like I kind of have no choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shrike. It's okay. We have five five costs, which is fine. Leaf Wolf, I'm gonna keep it four. I just like Leaf Wolf too much. Caprahorn. Maybe just two. I feel like two might be fine. Cause he does need the soul core. Does anyone else need the soul core? Mushrantula needs to use the soul core. I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. Just Mushrantula and uh, Caprahorn. Which is okay. And then we'll go... We'll go three Deadly Balance. I like that. A little bit of like a, a green or a purple splash in the green. I think that's the way. Because you have a lot of removal options. You have exhausting options. You have you have uh, opponent discard options. You have hella aggro. Um, you have the control with the netherworld depths. You have pressure with the great tree gate. Multiple cores for the core ramping. Uh, absolute ice shield, obvious reasons. Thorn Prison Defensive. Deadly Balance, your uh, combo card. Um, the Amethyst, he's simply there for the uh, symbol. I mean, his draw when destroyed is okay, but he's simply there for the purple symbol. And I mean, you could play the Map Butterfly instead if that's really what you want to do, but I, I think having the purple symbol in there is better. 
for like your netherworld depths and things like that. You'll have plenty of courses to use depths, but reductions is always good. Yeah, I think that's uh that's where we're gonna leave it off at, guys. So um just scroll here, you guys can take a quick screenshot. Um uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.